We are praised be the name of Jesus. Good morning, my day. This is the day the Lord has made. I will be rejoiced and be glad in it. This is the day the Lord has made. I have to say good morning, my day. I have to command my day. I have to talk to my day. It is a good day that the Lord has made. Therefore, I, I command anything programmed in you. You this day, I destroy you in the name of Jesus. My day, welcome. Let's talk. Let, let's talk. My day, I talk to you. I know that you are, you are a good day because God has made you. And it is the day that is, I will rejoice and be glad in it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, my Father. I thank you for that day. I thank you for today. It is a new day. It is a wonderful day. It's a mighty day. It is a day that I will be rejoiced. It is a day that I will be glad in it. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. I love you, Lord. I love you for the day. I thank you for the day. You are so great. So when you, you talk to your day, you program good things in your day, you, you speak what you want in your day. That's how we bring. So every day, 5 o'clock, 5 p.m., 5 a.m., we talk to the day, we program everything we want into the day because everything has ears and what you are saying is what it will pay you. So, so you talk to your day, you say, you the day, there will be no accident, there will be no sickness, there will, no, there will be no lack of money, there will be no uh, problem, no fight, no evil programmed in you shall prosper in Jesus' name. You say, you the day, I have woke up early before you and I'm talking to you, anything that has been programmed in you, I destroy you. Because you, saw, you, say, you say, people say that today the day was so bad for the person because you didn't talk to your day properly. So the day God said, this is the day the Lord has made, I will rejoice. So the day has no problem. The day is so good. So it depends on you how you talk to the day. So you, you, ca you can command and talk to the day. The day you are so sweet. You are a good day. So I don't want anything in you. That, uh, that would make me sad. That would make me cry. I don't want sickness. I don't want thieves. I don't want criminals. I don't want evil people in my, my day. You my day. Be good to me. I will be good to you. Then you also you will be good. When you talk to your day, you must be good too. Because the day will pay. If you are not a good person, the day knows that you are not a good person. So the day will be repaired against you. Yes, let's pray. My Father, I thank you for the day that you are made. I worship you and I honor you. I glorify you. This is a good day. In the name of Jesus, I dedicate the day today into your hand. I pray God, anything programmed in the day, I destroy, I destroy them. Lord, I speak to you to the day and I say you the day, hear the word of God. Anything that has been programmed in you, I destroy them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I am going straight away to, straight away to the topic. Many, many of you now, you are wondering what kind of prayer is this. The prayer which you call healing tablets, prayer, missiles. Healing tablets, prayer, missile, missiles. is the prayer that you will be surprised. Because uh, God gave me this, this message. And I didn't understand when God was giving me, I had to think and pray and ask God. Because God always talks like a parable. Even if you look in the Bible, most of that's why the Bible people, you can't understand the Bible. Unless you pray and you ask the Holy Spirit, then it's when you can understand the Bible. So God can give you a word, and this word is, is you to ask him, what do you mean? What do you give me this word to do before? So I had some other topic to teach, but God wanted me to, 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 to dwell, to talk about healing, about healing. So this week, this, I think this month we'll continue doing healing, and then on 22nd we'll have a uh, healing pool. So I will continue talking to this, uh, this topic. God bless you, those who have joined me, and please... We, this is uh, not a game. We are not here to f fight anybody or promote anything. It is about your health. It is about all your health and all it's about God. So I'm not here 
to promote anything or to abuse anybody or to say to talk about any uh, uh, people's religious because I'm not here me I'm he here to talk about healing about your health and what the Bible says I am a Christian and I follow the Bible I follow the Word of God so if you feel like you don't want to be here you, you don't you are not forced because this is the deliverance it will deliver your life it will deliver your soul it will deliver your, your family from from sickness it will deliver you from poverty because if you are sick you are you are you are, you are, you are poverty you are sick everything is sick in you because if you are sick you can't work you can't do anything so that is why i am here god himself has told me to teach this topic so uh, i as i love to teach it and i i, I know that through the grace of God, men of you are the one to be set free. They will be, you will be healed in Jesus' name. Let me go straight to the word of God. The word of God from Jeremiah, Jeremiah 8, verse 22. The Bible says, Is there no palm no in Gilead? Is there no palm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered so god is asking is there any is there any doctor that is there any physician there god is asking the question is asking question because the people were sick and they were not they were not healing so gilead uh, uh, gilead the palm gilead means medicine medicine and medicine both internally and externally so now God was asking, does it mean there is no medicine that will heal externally and internally? People were healed, were, were sick inside. People were sick in outside. So God was asking, does it mean there is no physician who can heal who can heal you? Was asking the people when the people were so sick, they didn't know what to do. They, 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 they didn't know what to do. So God was asking them, is there? And Gilead, is there any medication inside or outside? Why is my children, why is my daughter are not recover, are not healed? So today, that's why this topic is called healing tablets, prayer, missile. I'm going to show you how this, 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 these things work. Hallelujah, praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. God, I thank you so much. I give you all the glory. Father, I, I magnify your name. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ah, Jesus, you are good. Hallelujah. You are so good. In the name of Jesus Christ. These heads jumping to the to, to bring confusion to the to the youth stream. The heads some some things are jumping to broke the the, the the screen. Oh yes. So I'm um, going to show you another scripture from the book of uh, Psalms. From the book of Psalms 103, then we see how the healing tablet uh, missile is going to work. Psalms, Psalms 103, hallelujah, praise the name of Jesus. Psalms 103, verse 2 to 6. The Bible says, Bless, bless, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all the iniquities. Who healed all my all the diseases? You see here, the Bible is saying, "Praise the Lord, praise the Lord." Not be, not we have praise the Lord, praise God, praise God, praise God is to worship God. Praise the Lord is to praise Him. Here, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is David saying, "Praise the Lord of my soul and for God." And forgot not all his benefits. Praise the Lord that to my soul and not forgot all his benefits. And then he said, Who forgives all the iniquities? Who heals all the diseases? So David started praising God, praise God, praise God because he, he, he forgives all iniquities and he heals all, all diseases. Now, the Bible says, who redeemed the, the life from destruction, who crowded thee with loving kindness and tender mercy, 
who satisfy their mouth with the good things, so that the youth is renewed like the eagle. The, the Lord execute righteousness, righteousness and the church for all that oppressed him. So now, here, David is talking about how God is forgiving your infirmities, is for, forgiving your sins, healing you, and giving you money, prosperity. Then when you are healed, you are good, you feel better, then you, God, you, you, will, you will be prosper. If you are sick, you are in the bed, you cannot do anything. Your everything is, 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 is sick. So, God will heal you. God will, God will heal you. God will heal your soul. God will heal inside, your, inside your, your, your soul. God will heal you outside. When you are healed inside, because many people are being wounded, some people are so much wounded inside. They don't talk, they can walk, but inside they are rotten, they are wounded. So God will, will heal you inside and heal you outside. So when you are healed inside and if inside, and then good things will start coming, and then you are alive, your body will renew like ego. You know when the ego is getting tired and old, he goes to the mountain and stay there, and when he comes back, he's renewed. Hallelujah, praise the name of Jesus. So that is what the healing is going to do to you. So now, let's go to healing machine gun, healing missile prayer. And I am taking you to the New Testament, the book of John 5. The book of John 5, the Bible says, uh, the Bible says, after this there was a feast of, this, of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. And there is uh, at the Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrews, San Pedesa, having five bodies. In those days, in this lay a great multitude of import folk of blind heart waited, waiting for the moving of the water. For the an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. What served them first after the troubling of the water, striped in, was made holy of the whatsoever diseases he had. So here, is the 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 Bethesda? The, there was a pool. There was a pool. Uh, I can say a swimming pool. A swimming pool is where water is being put together. So people were running there and they jumped there. The angels of God was coming and trouble that water. When the angel come and trouble the water, the the means that the, the the angels was coming and put the the medicine in the water. Wherever people go in, they were healed. They, all their sickness were healed different sickness, diseases upon diseases, and there was many people who were running there. So, they, they were running, that's why you need this, this healing tablet, uh, uh, prayer missile. When you, you know how to use this uh, prayer, 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 healing prayer missile, you will not have any, any sickness in your body. You will use them every day, this prayer, that you will, you will use until you are set free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, healing tablets, prayer missile, it will deliver you from every sickness and diseases. Now you will see a different people who were complaining, who did not want to run for, for, for healing. There was a person, he was laying down for 38 years, and he has been seeing people being healed. People are there, are coming, and, they just, and the person is just looking at them, but he was suffering sick. So... Uh, healing tablet prayer missile, it is the prayer that you take action like missile. You know the missile goes very fast. Like these people were jumping to the water. They didn't, they didn't wait to anybody. They didn't want to wait anybody to, to, to put them to the water. They were running to the water themselves. So when you hear this prayer, you just, you, have, you just take faith. You hear that Jesus is, is the one who is a great physician. He is the healer who can heal you inside and outside. If there's, because now you can, doctors are there, but doctors cannot heal, heal you. They can't heal you. They cannot heal you when, you, when somebody is wounded, wound you, when you, are, you have a wound in your heart. 
if somebody has been wounding, wounding, wound you, it is hard for the doctor to heal you. That's why the book of Psalms 103 was saying that he heals your soul and he forgives your infirmities. So God forgive you past infirmities. And you also, you have to forgive those who are, uh, who are transgressed against you. So that God himself can forgive you. Now, if you, I tweet something that Matthew was saying, Jesus was saying, if you forgive, if, if you forgive man, God also would forgive you. So, this is why iniquities and infirmities and, and, and sins, if we cannot forgive each other, then God also cannot forgive us. But our God, he first forgive us. So it is our duty to give, to give man and let it go. Now, like this is prayer, healing tablets, prayer, missile. There are the prayers that you don't have to wait for anything. If you are sick or you are relative, you are anybody, you are, people are sick, you, you become a point of contact. You receive it, you say, Amen. As we are going to pray the prayers, you, you just say, Amen. You repeat it, you pray because you have to talk to that, that sickness. You, like, like these people, they didn't waste the time. They were jumping to the water and they were healed. So every word that we are going to talk, talk to your sickness. Condemn that sickness. Cast that sickness. Speak to that sickness. You can speak very loud and loud and loud because you need your breakthrough. This prayer was produced by the Holy Spirit. It takes me a minute. When God gives me a message, it takes me, it becomes very easy than me to go and struggle, to, to go and struggle so much. When God has given you one word, that is it. And God will pack it. When I pray for you, God will pack it immediately. That's why I'm happy to serve God. And God has been using me. Our ministry is a, as, as emergency. Many people, they run to us when they are sick. Even one day they, before they, can, they go to the hospital, they pass out. They call me and I pray for them. Some they get healed at the door of the hospital. Some they go to the hospital and they return back. Even the operation. There was a lady, she was uh, having blood clot. And they put a machine to help her you know, they, they, to pump the heart because they, they, the blood was clotting all over. And they were afraid that they, they, it is going to the heart. Now when this lady she called me from the hospital bed. I, I, I was there and I received the phone. I told her that, listen, let me stop that blood clot and, and I stop everything that is going to happen to you. I prayed, honestly speaking, God is my witness. That woman was discharged. The, 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 she called me at night. In the morning, the woman was discharged around 10 o'clock. There was nothing. There was the, after the eating, the blood started circulating right the, the, the right way, and everything stand still. And she was healed at instantly. So she was discharged. And here is the the one the doctor were were putting the machine to pump the, the to pump the the heart. So because the the, the 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 blood was clotting, going very fast to the body, and she was swollen everywhere was swollen. So. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is healing for sure. God heals. That's why the question from the book of uh, Jeremiah 8 verse 2. Is there a bum of Gideon? Uh, is there no physician who can heal my daughter? Who can heal my people? So when God was asking you, he was asking if there is any medication, any medicine internally or externally. Therefore, as you listen this prayer, we are going to pray. This prayer is your tablet. As you are given a prescription, you, you take your tablet three days in a day, four days in a day. The way you take, take this prayer like that. If you don't, you, if, you, if, you, if you don't have, get this video from YouTube, you can listen it. It is there's power in this video. When you listen it, your life will not be the same again. You will, you will find this prayer is working and it will heal it will heal, heal you. If you have your earphone, put in your earphone, listen it. And if you can put in a round speaker, do it. It will want to heal you. When we talk to the devil, and, and uh, the prayer that we are going to pray is, Bow, palm of Gideon, rub the oil of healing upon my body in the name of Jesus. Palm of Gideon, rub your oil of healing in my body in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, palm of Gideon, Rob, this is medicine. You are calling Bam of Gideon. This is medicine. 
that you want to rub your body everywhere where you have wounds, where you are sick, in the name of Jesus. I, I, I could like you, you write them down slowly, you can feel it, and you can look at the scripture that I have said, is Jeremiah uh, 8 verse 22. So that is the scripture, Gideon, of Baal, 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 Baal of, Gideon, of, of Gideon. So, and, and you pray like this, Serpentine venom in my blood, catch fire, fandom, Serpent and fandom. Some people, some sickness, they are from, they are programmed in serpentine. That's why the Bible says you have been given power against serpents and scorpions. So there is power called serpent and scorpion. There is power of the snake. Sometimes the enemy programs snakes in your body. These are the snakes which is eating you and running in your body, chewing you inside your body. So it is only the prayer that will kill that, that fandom random portion as that the enemy's portion in your body as make your body inside being eaten being suffering that's why you pray that prayer in the name of jesus christ hallelujah you pray that prayer you 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 pray you repeat seven times you say servant and vandam in my blood catch fire in the name of jesus now when you pray we did that prayer point in a place i call it hammington and the lady started vomiting she started vomiting. You can some say vomit even blood. You have it's something must come out of you. Don't worry. If you snake, you vomit when you pray that prayer very aggressive. Remember, those people were jumping to the water very fast. They were not waiting anybody to put them. So when you do this prayer, you do like a gun. You do like a missile. You 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 do with a very speed. Like like you can you can just memorize just like this. Seven and fandom in my blood. Catch fire, catch fire. It is fire which can destroy the serpentine. When you, uh, you, you when the, the snake walk on the fire, it can't move. Or in the sand, it can't move. That's why you say that is demon, that is demon in your body. It is a spiritual warfare. So what is eating you inside? Sometimes you feel like 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 like, like things are moving on your body. From you. some sometimes you feel it is going to your head. Sometimes you feel it is, it's going all over your stomach. Those are serpentine spirit. That is the next spirit that has been programmed by that devil to enter into your heart, to enter into your life, so that it can torment you. When you pray like that, you pray. I'm telling you, pray. Don't worry about even what. It is. It is spiritual warfare, and it, these prayers has been prepared by the Holy Spirit, by God Himself. So when we do these prayers, it works. It's tablets. You are taking them. You are eating them. It is going to work. Don't worry about about this word but it is working and the fandom fandom you know fandom it, it's a portion from the snake when they when it beats you they, if you cannot be treated you die so you command them to catch fire you command them to, de to be destroyed in jesus name hallelujah praise the name of jesus serpentine fandom in my blood catch fire catch fire in the name of jesus fandom fan serpent and fandom in my blood catch fire Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Now, you repeat that prayer seven times. Then we are going to cancer. We are going to command the spirit of cancer, demon of cancer in your blood, demon of cancer. Honestly speaking, if you pray this prayer, call me. You will be healed. You are not going to be the same again. If you are praying for point of contact of your, your mother, your friend, your ever who is having cancer, this prayer is going to deliver, going to heal somebody in the name of Jesus. You pray like this, flaming fire of God, consume every cancer in my blood. Flaming fire of God, consume every cancer in my blood in the name of Jesus. In the blood of my mother, in the blood of my uncle, in the blood of my child, in the blood you command this flaming fire of God. Because God himself is a fire, God is a consuming fire. When you command God to go to that sickness, and, 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 and destroy them and consume them. That is what God is going. Our God, the Bible, they, they, they call him, is, um, is, is God, God is a consuming fire. God himself is fire. So when God goes, remember when God was talking to Moses, Moses saw fire burning, but the, 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 the truth, the forest was not burning. Now he had, uh, he had a voice from the fire. This is, this is, the, this is God was talking to Moses. So, so the Bible tell us, the word of God tell us, 
God himself is fire. It's a consuming fire. So, God himself will go and consume that cancer. Here, it is God. Jesus will go, but in some cases, God himself from the throne. He wait, he go himself and do some something. He can send angels, he can send Jesus, he can send the Holy Spirit, he can send, and all this is one, is him. So sometimes God can go like, 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 like spirit. And then he can go and destroy some, some, some stuff. Because our God is a mysterious God. He, he, he do miracles. So when you say like this, and you pray that this is three times, two times, one time, many times, as you take medication, like missile, you fire it, you pray very hard. If you are suffering, you have pain, you pray this prayer, I'm telling you, honestly speaking, this is 100 over 100. God will touch you. Honestly, you will pray God consume fire. I am assuring you because I've seen cancer people set free. I've seen people with different sickness being set free. I've been sick myself and I was healed. My daughter was sick when the flying doctor came from overseas to help her. They didn't help her. Instead, the child, my daughter was healed by God himself. You can be, get out of that sick bed if you believe this prayer. You don't have to go through problems and sickness and diseases. I didn't have to, to teach this prayer. It is God who, who himself who told me to do this. Now, when God says something, he has to perform it. He has to accompany it. So, my friends, bear with me. Pray this prayer. Confess with your own mind. As you take the tablets and swallow it. That's why I'm saying this prayer is, is a prayer missile. Which you, you swallow it. You swallow this prayer. You, you pray like this. You pray, flaming fire of God. Consume every cancer in my blood. Framing fire of God. Consume, consume uh, uh, cancer in my blood. Let, let consuming fire consume blood cancer. Any blood, any cancer in your blood, any cancer in your body, wherever that cancer is hiding, let flaming fire of God consume them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Now you pray. You pray, you say, Rulers of darkness, supervising cancer in my life, die. You say rulers, rules, there's some, some demons in charge of that cancer, that cancer. So you command them, you, 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 you rulers of darkness, supervising cancer in my life, die. You kill them. You, it is a fight, it's a spiritual warfare. It's like when you go to war, you want to get the leaders and kill that leader. When you kill it, or when the Osama bin Laden died, was killed and and you make sure that you kill the leaders when you finish the leaders that is their their their, their, their organization their, they will lose power so that that enemy supervising that sickness in your body you have to command them to die in jesus name this is spiritual warfare because it is really cancer is really and it's killing people no cure they will reduce it to, to the pains but it is killing people Many people are dying. It's a killing thing. It's a killing. It's a killing disease and any other diseases. So you have. To, we are war, We are coming war against them. That's why we use this prayer healing, healing prayer, uh, uh, missile, tablets, missile. So when we pray like this, Hallelujah, praise the name of Jesus. When we pray this prayer like this, you pray. You pray like this. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tell us. There is a lot of prayer, and I want to pray. I don't know. I will break it. This week, I will done. I will be finished. By 23rd, I will, I will do everything that I am supposed to do. And the, the prayers will be variable. It is in you till free of judge. You just go to Overcomers DH Ministry. Ministry. Overcomers DH Ministry. You, you click that. The prayers, all the prayers are there. Or you go to website overcomers dh ministries.brox.spot.broxpot.com or you can write my full name Christine Siggy. So all this you it is in the YouTube, you can find them and it can help you. Let's go. Hallelujah. Press the name of Jesus. I am dealing with the cancer. You pray like this arrows of cancer fired into my breast, backfire and die. If there, is arrow, uh, if there is cancer in your breast, cancer in your, everywhere where cancer is, 
you mention that breast. If it is bones, wherever it is, if it is breast, you if it is stomach, if it wherever that cancer is, you mention it. You you pray. Arrows of cancer fired into my breast, backfire and die, backfire and die in the name of Jesus. You repeat that prayer, you will see what is going to happen. God is going to heal you. You pray another one like this. Let God arise and kill every strong man of cancer in my life in the name of Jesus. Let God arise and kill every strong man of cancer in my life. That strong man, that power of cancer, the power behind that cancer, let them die in the name of Jesus. Let them die. That is strong power that, is, that, that has rebelled us, that has rebelled to, to be healed. That he wants to kill you. Let them die. Let that cancer itself die. You shall not die. Cancer will not kill you in the name of Jesus. That's why healing tablets, prayer missile will work for you. This prayer missile is dealing with the cancer, strong diseases that does not want to, to, to be healed. That's why the Bible says the power of Gideon is there, a power of Gideon is there any physician in the name of Jesus. This is the, the tablet. This healing tablet prayer will heal you and will set you free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Anointing of Jesus Christ. Break every covenant of cancer. Anointing. 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 Anointing of Jesus Christ. You ask anointing of Jesus Christ because the Bible says, Jesus, I came out. Uh, I came to heal. The, 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 the Holy Spirit has empowered me. Jesus came to heal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me look at that scripture. The Holy Spirit has given me that scripture. Let, let's look in the, in the book of Luke 4, verse 18. Hallelujah. Let, let me look at this book. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. The Bible says, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the broken hearted, to preach the deliverance to the captives, and recover of the, the sight of the blind, to set at the liberty them that are bruised. So the Spirit of the Lord is upon 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 Jesus, upon him. So that is, that is the spirit we are asking. Because the Bible says, he had, he had, he had the spirit of the Lord is upon, upon him because he has, the, uh, he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the broken hearted. The spirit of God has sent Jesus to heal the broken hearted. The people who have been sick, people who have no hope. So th that is why we are using that very anointing that Jesus was anointed, let that, 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 that come and heal you in the name of Jesus. Anointing of Jesus Christ, break every covenant of cancer. Anointing of Jesus Christ, from the book of Luke 4 verse 18, anointing of Jesus Christ, break every covenant of cancer in my body. Every covenant, the covenant which says that this cancer is in my family, this, it, has, it, it kills my mother, it kills my father. So cancer, uh, pressed cancer is in my family. That covenant, let the anointing of Jesus Christ break them. Let that anointing of Jesus Christ kill them. You, you, you cannot call that is Jesus, even if it was in your blood. But the anointing of Jesus Christ will come upon you and break that covenant in the name of Jesus. That covenant will die in the name of Jesus. The covenant in the family that has been weeping your family from cancer, let it die. The blood of Jesus, the anointing of Jesus will destroy them. It is not going to pass to your children. It is not going to pass to your children. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, anointing of, of Jesus Christ, kill every cancer in the family. Kill every cancer in the name of Jesus. Anointing of Jesus Christ, destroy every cancer. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, anointing of Jesus Christ, anointing in the blood of Jesus, destroy every cancer, destroy every cancer, destroy every cancer, in the name of Jesus. Cancer is a deadly disease, and it is the blood, it is Jesus Christ who can destroy them, in the name of Jesus. It is Jesus who can destroy them, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Yes, 
Jesus is able to destroy that cancer, to to break the covenant, to break as uh, the the agreement in the family that you accept it, you accept when the the cancer come, you know that it kills your mother, it kills your family, you know it is in the family, so you accept it. You say yes, this cancer has been in the family, so therefore I break that covenant, I break that ag agreement in the name of Jesus. I destroy it. I destroyed. Remember, Jesus Christ has given me power and authority over cancer, over sickness and diseases. I take authority by the blood of Jesus, by the anointing of Jesus Christ to destroy that demon of cancer, to set you free. In the name of Jesus, you cancer, hear the word of God. I destroy you. I command you to die. I break you to pieces. You cannot kill this person. You are you are a liar. You are a demon. You are a virus. Get out of from that body in the name of Jesus. Anointing of Jesus Christ. Enter in this body. Enter in the life. In, enter into the blood of this person. Enter in the life and destroy every demon, every virus. You demon, you demon, get out. You have no place. That person is not your habitant, your habitation. It is not your your house where you are living. I am destroying you. I command you to get out. You claim that God is your house. Now I'm telling you to get out. I set fire. Let consuming fire consume you and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of angels of God. Angels of God. With the, with the acts of fire. Uproot the roots of cancer in your body. Let the angels of God. Come with the axe of God to uproot, you know, the axe which God said, drift. Now let the angels of God come into your body with the axe and uproot every virus, every demon of cancer in your body, in Jesus' name. That wound will be healed in Jesus' name. I am boiling the blood of Jesus, the oil of Jesus Christ, to enter in that wound, to enter in those wounds, to enter into those pains, and be healed in Jesus' name. The angels of God start uprooting one by one, and that wounds will be melt and healed in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blood of Jesus, appear, enter into the body of this person, and flush out the demon of cancer. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, appear, enter into the body of this person, and flush out the demons of cancer. Blood of Jesus, appear, appear, enter in the body of this person and flush out every demon of cancer. What's this person? What's a person? Let the blood of Jesus come and enter and enter in your body and destroy and flush out every demon of cancer in the name of Jesus. Cancer is demon. Cancer is demon. Cancer is demon. Cancer is demon. Therefore, I'm sending this healing prayer tablet like missile to enter in and destroy that demon wherever they are the missile when it comes in it will whip and destroy everything in your in your in your body it will merit it it will come like a bomb blast it will become like a, it is a missile so therefore the missile of god the missile from heaven now enter enter in that body and destroy every virus Every demons of cancer, wherever it is, where they are hiding, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Therefore, my friends, you listen to these prayers, repeat those scriptures, go and read them and read them. Read, take it as you take the tablet. Three times, wherever you feel, until you are set free. It's when you can give up. But you don't give up if you have not been set free. These prayers have delivered so many people. It is one to deliver you. Even right now, check yourself. You will not be the same again. You are not going to be the same again. I'm telling you, faith, like what is happening in, in the pool of Bethesda. People were jumping, were running because they were sick. If you go to read your Bible, the Bible tells us that many people who were sick, who were sick, were healed. They were sick. They were jumping to the, to the bull and they were healed. And there was a man who was laying there that eight years. This man was the man who was who did not have faith, who was complaining, who was uh, uh, against the pastor. He wanted somebody to go and take him there. So he wanted babysit. 
but people they were not wait, waiting for baby seed they were not waiting for anything when they heard that this is the pool where the healing is they were jumping in and they were healed there's a bible there's another scripture which talks about the man called uh but son of Demio. when he had jesus jesus was passing by he shouted we'll talk it tomorrow we are going to read we are going to look at that book the scripture tomorrow so it it, it shouted it, this is this is violent. You have to go by violent. You remember the Bible says that uh, the the kingdom of God suffered violent, and the violent people will take it by force. So you have suffered so much. Now you hear this healing. You have to grab it and have it and claim it and say Amen. Believe the word of God. That is it. Jesus is God, and He will help you and heal you. Our God Almighty, He will heal you. Even if you are talking or you are saying you are you are you are you are against Jesus, it is a healer. Even the Quran, in the Quran they talk about Jesus. The the Muslim knows that Jesus is coming back. Jesus is, is a prophet is coming back. He's the Son of God. But they don't want to talk about it. I know. I know they don't want to talk about it. But they 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 they, they know Jesus is coming. They know Mary, Maria gave birth to Jesus. A holy woman gave to Jesus, and they know Jesus went heaven. So there is no way that you cannot believe this Jesus. Jesus is not in the grave. He didn't. He's not. He didn't. He, he didn't die and stay in the grave like other people. But Jesus is in heaven, and the Quran and everybody knows that Jesus is going to come back. So there is no way that there is no way that you can tell yourself that Jesus is not there. Jesus is a man. You say what you are saying. Jesus is. Jesus is in heaven. Is coming, and the Bible says he he, he would is he, coming with angels. He's going to come with the multitude of angels, a lot of thousands and thousands, millions of angels. is going to come with them. This is the last day. Therefore, all those sickness that is in your body to make you miserable, I command them to die, to die in the name of Jesus. You want the devil? Uh, I, I don't know. Yesterday or the other day? No, I was teaching in another me a meeting, prayer meeting. So also we are going to talk about the, the, that the devil is using his time very wisely and very, very quickly because his time is over now. Jesus is coming soon. That's why he's bringing a lot of sickness. He's using everything to see people dying without Jesus. Don't die without Jesus. Confess Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Tell Jesus, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sins. Accept me as, as your personal Savior. You just tell Jesus, Jesus, forgive me. Talk to your Jesus. Open your mouth and tell Jesus, I'm sorry, forgive me. Because you remember, Psalms 103, it says, He forgive us all our iniquities. So that is one of the iniquities. If you are not upon again, and you want to be born again, confess with your mouth. That is it. You don't have to tell me. You tell God. You don't want to tell anybody. You just confess to God. You say, Lord Jesus, forgive me, I am a sinner. Then you get benefits. Remember, the Bible says benefits benefits of God Psalms 103 benefits you will get benefits of God of healing and your blessings and the money prosperity if you look at that scripture 103 you will see first 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 two to six you will see what God is going to uh, to give you after the healing and at the same time it is going to prosper you and give you good things in the name of Jesus Therefore, I have to stop here. God bless you. We are going to meet meet today, 9, 9 p.m. Thank you very much for listening. God bless you. Take care. This is your host, Leverend Christine Isigi. God bless you. See you tomorrow tonight again, and we we'll talk the night. We are going to we are going to talk. You will never be the same again. As you continue following these prayers, your life will change completely in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. I praise God for everyone. Thank you for coming. God bless you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. Hallelujah.